everybody back for batman arkham Asylum. i'm sorry we we're starting a little bit late there was a power outage here uh that delayed me getting my dinner um and then the power went out again luckily i got my dinner made before it happened but i wanted to give it a bit of time just to make sure it had settled and you know it wasn't gonna keep flip-flopping hopefully it has and you know this will be the last time and I won't have to deal with another power outage at some stage tonight. Okay. All right, let's jump in. So last time, let me shrink. Last time we were doing. No. <laughs> we have to. Are we still looking for Commissioner Gordon, or has he gotten out now? No, he's gotten out. We've rescued Commissioner Gordon. Now we are in pursuit of. Something like the Titan formula or something is in the the botany building. I think I think that's what we're doing. God, it's been a while. It hasn't even been that long. It's been a week. Why is this taking so long to load? Okay, weird. Uh, right. Maybe the map will tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. Obtain the security key codes from the warden. Locate the warden. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're chasing after Harley Quinn, who has the warden. That's what we're doing. Okay. Right then. So follow the DNA trail. Oh, Quincy. Okay, so some snipers are back. You should probably deal with them. This is the warden. It is vital that everyone unload their sidearms immediately. Yeah, I recommend that. One way to do it, I guess. Okay, let's get to this sniper. And then we'll deal with the guys over there. Okay, he won't turn around. Okay, and he's taken care of. Take out George Washington's teeth while they bounce around the place. A little throwback to the council that we're also playing right now. George Washington is in it. He has yet to display his wooden teeth. I will I will get him to do it. I want to see the weird teeth. Anyway. I assume we're going this way, because all the guys are over here. So presumably this is the way we need to go. It's the bat! It's the bat! <laughs> I don't want to do that. It seems painful. That was in the balls. I feel like he deserved it. Did you not learn? Did you not learn? You get shocked in the balls. If you take a sh if you take a stun baton to the bat, you get shocked in the balls. But you guys would have figured that out by now. All right. How you doing, Doc? Don't thank me or anything. I don't like being thanked. I don't need your thanks, orderly. But if you want to give them to me, uh. Happy to re receive them. Thank you, Batman. The guard wouldn't have lasted much longer. Ah, he'd be fine. Is he okay? He's lasted a whole he week. Struck his head when they knocked him to the ground. That's gonna do Move it, all right. away from here as soon as you can. Take him to the medical facility. Batman, you're not meant to island. move people who okay. have a concussion. I'll go with him as soon as he's able to stand. All right, this way. This way. This way. And into the cell block. All right, here's where we're going. I did see a grate on the wall. I imagine this is locked or something and we can't get in for... Never mind. Well, in that case, I am going to go back in. 
And I am going to check the uh, the grate, because I thought this would be a haha, -ha, you can't get any further. And you have to come in here and pull the grate off the wall. Evidently not, it's just a trophy in here. Alright. Now that a very important piece of business is done, we can go back to checking on Quincy Sharp. I'm sure he's fine. Having a great day with Harlequin, no doubt. That'll do it, alright. Ah, you're all right. What? A fellow nihilist. I invested it gambling. Good. That's a lot more than 20 marks on him. Anyway. These guys are armed. There's only one only one of them's armed, okay, that's fine. It's the bat! How to do the tactical backclaw? How do you do the backclaw in combat? Is it works. I think it's double tap or two. All right, what's happening in here? We have an upgrade. Okay. Ine's going this way. All right, let's get the upgrade while we're at it. Maybe it'll tell me how to do it again. Backlaw in this, maybe tactical backlaw somewhere. Let's see it. Alright, that's a lot of health. We get this. Upgrades the standard battle rank power, increasing the time. That, no, that's fine. You throw two. No. Let's do throw three, I think. Remote control, we've gotten Sonic. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the next one. We got the Sonic battery. Right? And then what? Explosive Sonic? Oh, it shocks you. Okay. Yeah, so that is... The Sonic one will um, bring nearby guards over to us, but it doesn't do anything. It just brings them to that location. You still need to do something when they get there, whereas this one will bring them over there and then you can shock them. It kind of works by itself. Okay, if we can't go this way, we're locked out. Guess we're going this way, so. The showers. Through processing. Alright, that was easy. That was easy to get around. There's a lot of noise coming from behind that. Behind that door. Or at least I can hear it in the music. Anything in the toilets? Before we go in? In the trophy. Thank the Lord! I thought you'd have found that one hours ago. I couldn't get in here hours ago, dickhead. Alright, what about in the Vimmins? 
You have a mirror. Actual reflections, I'm impressed. Not a great reflection, but it's there. So few, so few video games do proper reflections anymore. Okay, let's continue. Let's get attacked by millions of guys in here, I guess. Two people, one voice, no gun, is the puppet, I think. Oh, it's a lot of boys in here. How y'all doing, boys? That's right, it's me. It's, it's the bat, your favorite. I want to drop down there. Guns, good to know. Can we get in here? Mars, Mars, Serta, Hora, Inserta. Shock. Victor, yesterday we spoke about the people you killed. Ah, the zombies. They are all people, Victor. They are zombies. Zombies were people, once upon a time. I'm not sure death is a liberation, but okay. Posed me. How are they posed? How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433. Remember, you forgot to buy your cat food. Again? How do you know where I sit down on your favorite red chair, cat on lap, hmm? just waiting for. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Six locks into your apartment. That's a lot of keys. That's a lot of keys you gotta remember. And I imagine she keeps all the keys on the same thing, which means it's kind of pointless. Keep all the, keep all the keys on the same key ring. Then what's the point? Okay, I'm a little lost on where we're going here. I still need to be able to open that, but we don't have the computer to open it, so... Yeah, and that's blocked off, so we're not going through there. I guess I'll try and get back on the, the DNA trail. I think we've done a bit of a detour here. So we came in here, hang on, let's drop down here again. We came in here. All of the DNA in here, right? Here's the DNA. Oh. Uh, thanks for the follow, uh, Marlian. I think I saw you for the council yesterday, right? This way. Forget the button every time. Okay, and there's further to go that way, but we need the line gun to do it, so we'll have to come back. Alright, presumably we'll have to make our way back through that area with all the so uh, soldiers, I was gonna say, all the inmates. Really 
not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain! <laughs> it's climate change, Batman. You gotta do something. You're meant to be a hero. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. You really don't want that to happen. <laughs> no plants allowed in here. as Pamela Isley was transformed by a science experiment gone wrong into a plant-human hybrid. With chlorophyll flowing through her veins instead of blood, she developed a toxic touch and a pheromone fuel talent for seduction. Crimes have become more ecologically focused as she has increasingly abandoned her human side, identifying more with the natural world. We're, we're part of the natural world too, but whatever. Her unique brand of eco-terrorism often puts her into conflict with Batman, whose iron will will usually... Oh, whose iron will usually protects him from her seductive powers, usually. So, confirmed, Batman is on the su is against climate change. Okay. Pamela Lillian Isley, professional criminal. Gotham City, eyes green, hair red. 5'8", 115 pounds. First introduced in 1966. Has an ability to encourage and direct the growth of all plant life. Plant genes mix in with her DNA, make her an unpredictable and formidable physical opponent. Exudes natural pheromones that enable her to exert control over her victims. Skin secretes a toxin that can make her touch deadly. A pathological drive to rid the world of humanity and make it safe for plant life. Well, you know, she has a point. Although she very much exudes a non-consent <laughs> aura, I guess. Okay, so there is a... Uh... Riddle we can do here, I think. I think the puppet guy. I think his cell is in here somewhere. Everyone okay. Sounds good. We're clearly in the high security area. Someone help me! Oh yeah, Quince. Who's waiting to attack me up there? Help! Shut up. I'll be with you in a moment, citizen. Some of the people at the back here. I'm up here! Alright, so this is push, I think. Oh, Clayface! Right, that makes Help. sense. Initially an actor in horror films, Carlo went mad when he learned a classic film of his was to be remade with a different actor in the lead role. He took on the mask of the film's villain, Clayface, and killed several of the remake's cast and crew before being stopped by Batman and Robin. Later, Carlo joined the Mud Pack, an alliance of shape-changing mutated villains who had subsequently used the name Clayface. While the group was defeated, Carlo tricked his allies and injected himself with the essences of several of them, becoming a superhuman imbued with the abilities to change shape, melt others into protoplasm with a touch, and mimic the powers of heroes or villains he copies. When did that part happen? <laughs> I, mean, I, I didn't get that bit. You can mimic their powers too? Okay, Basil Carlo, professional criminal and actor. Eyes red, hair none, 6'5", 265 pounds, 1940. Alright, we're approaching someone who's actually my weight now can alter his physical form, adopting the appearance of nearly anyone. His malleable physical form makes him extremely difficult to injure or contain. His touch can be poisonous. Cool. Does he change if you stop looking at him? No, I think it's you need to enter and exit for him to change. I'm up here! You need to get me out of this cell! Yeah, yeah. It's me, sure I, do. I need it out there! I can help you! <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, we can go up to Quincy, but let's see who's up here first. Please, someone help me! He's having fun. I'm up here! You good? Who's this guy? No idea. Help! And then we need that to get into that Riddler trophy. We still don't have the cryptographic computer. Still don't have Batman's crypto wallet. Okay. Help me! 
they're not. There's another set of stairs up here. We'll go through the main ones in a second. I just want to make sure. Does this explode? Yes, it does. Okay. I'm up here. We're busy, Quincy. We'll come back in a sec. Okay. Can I get in here without going up the stairs? Help! No. Not like that. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be on your party list, Harley. Are they a couple yet? Or have they been a couple yet in this? Did you did, you Quincy. Cut me free. Nah. One sec. All right. He's taken control of the security overrides. Oh shit. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. What's the point Your of it terminal then? Terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. Yoink. This is a card, it's Quincy. Useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. In here. Okay, we have our crypto wallet. We've stolen all of Quincy Sharp's Bitcoin, and now we have access to everything in the prison. Uses ultrasound frequencies to bypass security systems. Security protocols are broken using a 512-bit decryption key. Pretty... It's pretty nuts. Like, military's only 256. I think. Wait. No, I think military is... I think military is 500. Okay, anyway. Cool. There's always a way out. Always. Okay. Select cryptographic sequencer. Prepare cryptographic sequencer. Okay to target for it. There it is. Do the thing. Gotta find the frequency. Uh that seems right, I guess. I could have sworn there was a way for you to know better how to do that. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. How? Good idea. Can't have some of my stature falling back into their hands. <laughs> See, he's changed again. Get me out of here! <laughs> you rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. Ah, uh, but you see, the warden doesn't have his stick. Nice. <laughs> okay. He can't be the commissioner. The commissioner doesn't have a sense of humor. Did he change again? All right then. Did that guy get out? They left him in there. Wow, that's mean. All right. Well, poison ivy's out. Not great. We're in a bit of trouble here now. Okay. All these cells have been opened. So let's see if there are any items there, like Riddler trophies. On the other side. With Snoop. No, okay. 
Alright, so all those guys got out, so now we gotta fight them. That's pretty standard. What's up? Missed. <laughs> I feel like I was probably supposed to counter him and Batman would have done something for him. Oh well. Tried to dodge him instead. Alright. Where are all the lads? Where are all the lads? Upstairs? No? Okay. Surprise! Yeah, baby. You know, Bat, I always thought there was a spark between us. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's pretty impressive. It Sorry, buddy. I know, I know, you're shot. Come and get me, Babs. I double dare ya. Alright. Why don't you just go get a gun and shoot the stupid bat? I don't know what I did there, but he, I took care of him. Oh. Damn, he's got some sick moves. Turn off the electricity so I can actually go back down there. Presumably. Oh. Hey, this is a level two cryptographic sequencer. Okay, that seems right. Patient pacification system. Activated. Cool, that's what we wanted. Then there's another one. Oh, is this the riddle? The ventriloquist. Arnold Wesker was a timid orphan whose deep repression erupted in a barroom brawl, resulting in him being sent to Blackie Prison. There he encountered the puppet Scarface and promptly murdered the man who'd carved the puppet. Two are now inseparable, with Scarface directing a series of criminal activities. While most believe that Wesker is simply acting out a second personality through the puppet, Wesker sees himself as a reluctant lackey who merely does his puppet's bidding. Arnold Wesker, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown, 5'7", 142 pounds, introduced in 1988. Pretty recent. Delusional schizophrenic with multiple personality disorder, obsessed with his puppet Scarface, whom he puppeteers with unsettling skill. When teamed with Scarface, the two operate as a criminal mastermind. Well, all right. There was another cryptographic thing here. A level three. Not sure what that means. Here. That's gone now. Guess we had to do both? I don't know. Maybe this door was locked as well? Not sure. 
Can I find the cable for this? Here? No, it's for that one. Whatever, we'll do this one anyway. she came in through? I don't know, is the answer. No, it's not. <laughs> That's the one we came in through. Okay. Ugh, stuck. Okay, let's check you guys out as well. There's anything in here I need to know about. No. Maybe? Fuck, I don't know. I think so. There are enemies this way, so presumably this is the right one. <laughs> Many times I gotta teach you this lesson! Where's the other guy? Around there. Ah, Calendar Man. Fix oh, well, that is an outfit. Fixated on the calendar, Julian Day became Calendar Man, a villain who timed and tied his crimes thematically to certain holidays throughout the year, often leaving clues by which he could be caught. Gotham City's hopes for a day off are often clouded by the knowledge that any holiday of note is likely to be shadowed by Calendar Man's presence. I find it unlikely that's his actual real name, but okay. Julian Day, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown, six foot three. Oh, he's pretty tall. 175 pounds, 1958, really? He's oh, well, actually, to be fair, yeah, he has a stupid name, so yes, it makes sense that he's a pretty old character. <laughs> Obsessed with quirks of the calendar, carefully plans and themes crimes around holidays. done? Are we done with this trying to bum rush the Batman? Everyone trying to zerg rush Batman. They're not getting it. Is this something? Is this something? Yeah, I guess it's not. Hey, Azuma! Is it the Bat, though? How can you figure? It could be Bruce Wayne for all we know. It could be. Could just be Bruce Wayne dressed up in a Halloween costume. We've no idea. Hell, it could be Clark Kent. Clark Kent dressed up as Batman. Going undercover, like a journalism thing. He does journalism, right? <laughs> Prometheus, Arkham Guard's most wanted and most hated. What the hell is that? Here either. All right. Is there is there a Prometheus villain that I don't know of? I'm thinking it's they're talking about anarchy. I don't think he ever went to Arkham. I'm pretty sure he was just Blackgate. Hey, baby. <laughs> To the left. Got a little problemo for you. See those two guards over there? I know. Shucks. How you gonna save them? Wanna give that thing to me back? No fair. That's cheating, back. <laughs> 
see. I gotta turn this power off again and go for it. It's not the word. A girl can have hours of fun with a toy like that. Nice. Five, this will be very difficult, I'm sure. Watch me completely fuck it up. Good. Oh, I thought we were both gonna die in there. You're safe now. You're going after Who's that both? crazy witch. I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. Did you think I was gonna? She won't get away. Did you think I was I'll gonna stop die? stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. Gross. From me. You're not my boss, Louie. Congratulations. Did you see him back there? What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. That's all I need to know. Okay, so we can't get back in there because of Joker gas. There was an explosive wall, so we'll have to come back there eventually to deal with whatever was behind the explosive wall, but until they have vented the room, we can't do much. It's the door we came from. So there was a locked door up here. Yeah, maybe it's not locked anymore. Never mind. <sighs> This way? Hmm. How do I get to you? I see there's a vent there. So maybe there's a way to climb up. Is there a vent in one of these cells? Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm your number one fan, Batman! Ah, oh, yeah. Got my nose broke by the Batman, I love it. I'll never get it fixed. Oh, bullshit. There we go. I just don't run. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's this trap you're leading me into? Who's this guy? Sounds very close. Oh, okay. Weird. He's having fun up there. All right, two faces. Cell. I'm losing patience. You're cheating. You must be. District Attorney Harvey Dent was one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City until a criminal threw acid in Dent's face, hideously scarring him. The wounds fractured his psyche, and he was reborn as a skit. Wow, I don't think he can say this word anymore. A uh, criminal mastermind obsessed with duality. His former good luck charm, a two-headed trick silver dollar, was damaged on one side in the attack, and Dent has seized on it as a reflection of his half-scarred visage. He flips it to decide the fates of his victims. Despite Batman's efforts to reform his former ally, Dent is consumed by his fixation on chance, and his crimes are designed to prove out his diametric philosophy.
Harvey Dent, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown and grey, six foot, 182 pounds. 1942, okay. Hideously scarred on the left half of his face. Why hideously? Why, why, why hideously? Just, you know, severely scarred, not hideously scarred. That's unfair. That's subjective. Scarred on the left half of his face, which he plays up with clothing that's differently styled on one side. Extremely skilled with his weapons of choice, twin 45 automatics. Semi-automatics, presumably. Psychotic obsession with duality, designing crimes around the number two. Defers to his half-scarred coin in choices of life and or death. Okay. Can I get up there without... No, there's no pocket. And there's... A Riddler trophy, so maybe these can be opened. Well, I'll have to figure out a way to open it. Ugh, fucking hell. Huh? <laughs> scared the shit out of me. You bollocks. Don't scare the Batman. I scare you. We're still talking about Zazz's Zazz's Zazz. The patient has transferred from Dr. Cassidy, who is on leave after the incident last week. You know, incident. Oof. What happened? Hello, Mister. I want some tattoos too, Zaz, but, you know, they're expensive, and I also can't think of what the next one would be. Uh, okay, I guess we turn this off. Okay, that opened that door. It's the way out, but what was back this way? the way down, it's just a, a better way down, or not a better way down, another way down. Can I sneak up on this guy who's going nuts? No. Dead, presumably? Dead. Anything all the way down here? No? Alright, cool. Okay, upgrades. Graphic range amplifier increases the effect of the range so you can do it further away, I think. This easier deciphering is the speed it up. The range is useful because there are certain um, there are certain points you can't actually reach with the default range. So that would be useful. But having the shock one would be nice too. Just means you don't need to be standing right beside the thing. Kind of weird that that's not like a a, de a default option. Whatever. Okay. So we're taking out that door. Now we can get through. Did that unlock any of these fired ones? Because I still don't know how to get in here. Can you drop down. I'll figure it out. We'll do a, uh, like a, uh, what's he called, a sweep up? Zaz is, Zaz is a self-employed tattoo artist. Good for him. He seems like he's only interested in giving himself ink, and it's not even ink. It's like scarification. How did you break the ice? Okay, it's Mr. Freeze. See it there. 
Hey, what's up? Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Get him! All right. Who's getting me? You guys? You guys getting me? Good. Guys coming up here? What are you gonna do? She probably should have let him finish his speech. Hadn't picked it up yet. Got it. Got it again. I don't believe it. I'm on my way now. Oops, change of plans, kiddo. But I tried my best. <laughs> Sorry, but there is no prize for second place. What? First loser? next to certain names you're the detective you tell me one's allowed on the list one's to be taken out wait a harley So Harley, I don't think so. Oracle, I'm done. Harley is <laughs> subdued, and I have her print scanned. So you can find the secret lab in the gardens. Yes, Harley's been everywhere on the island. Allegedly, yes. So I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen, be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. Maybe it's just tropical gardens. No? Okay. 
All right, head to the garden. Let's go. Mr. J will be back for me later. He's only messing around. Mm. No subject detected. Mean. Okay. How do we actually get? Oh, do we have to? Maybe we don't actually have to get to him. Come on, really? Okay. Mr. Freeze. Victor Freeze was a brilliant cryogenesis whose beloved wife Nora was stricken with a fatal degenerative disease. He placed her in suspended animation while obsessively searching for a way to cure her. Perhaps he could have furnished the rest of us with his technology of suspended animation, but okay. But the corporation that funded his research and Nora's life pulled the plug, triggering an accident that transformed Freeze's body into Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, into a cold-blooded form that must always be kept below zero. Normal room temperature, he will die, wielding a number of freezing weapons. He wears protective armor in his quest to somehow bring back his lovely wife and avenge her fate, which he partly holds the Batman responsible for. Why? Why? What did he do? Oh, wait. Is his company in charge? <laughs> Was Wayne Tech in, in charge of the technology? Anyway. Real name, Dr. Victor Freeze, professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair none, six foot, 190 pounds. I always figured he was bigger than that. Mr. Freeze always seemed to be huge. 1959. Scientific genius with a specialty in cryogenics employs an extensive array of cryo weaponry. His body has been permanently altered to survive at a sub freezing state. Wears protective freezing armor whenever he's out in an above zero climate. Motivated by his grief and anger over the fate of his wife, Nora. He's like one of the few Batman villains who has like a legitimate grievance. Like the rest of them are like. Uh, I wasn't loved enough as a child, and I want more money, and I'm the Joker, and I'm just insane. But he always seemed like he had, like, a legitimate, um, you know, reason for being a supervillain, I guess? IMO, at least. I don't actually want to go the way the game wants me to go. Let's see if I can get up there. Wait. How are her fingerprint? Oh, they're not her fingerprints. How do I get up there? Because we can't grapple anything that has barbed wire on it. Hmm. Probably another line gun situation. Oh wait, did these just go? These just go to the same place. Okay. Yep, you do know cheating. how to read a map, <laughs> don't you, detective? Has he been taking his medication? Is there anything you'd like to talk about today? No. Victor! This is going nowhere. Gar! Get him out of here! You heard the doctor. Get out. Didn't you hear me? He's no. got a <laughs> Is that a monkey? He's got a gun! He's one guy! How many of you were there? It's not like he has super strength or anything. Activate any of them. Just this one. The one that has the explosive beside behind us. Okay. <laughs> we can't open Har we can't open Harley's one, I guess. Although it does, does turn out we don't need the line gun. We just have to figure out a way to open the door. Number five, which is this one. At last. 
<laughs> Am I, Harley? Am I? Oh no, here They've we go. Debbie Downer again. Me. Shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions, cataloging his depraved crimes. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. He's referring to an actual person there, Mad Dog. Such and such and such who killed his family. And he's like, I will rehabilitate you instead. It doesn't turn out too well for him. I think he I think he ends up killing him anyway. I think Amadeus Arkham ends up killing Mad Dog and uh, being committed to his own asylum. It is this way. It's this way, and then turn right. Sound too good? Army of joke faces. Hey, what's up? It's my number two fan. Give you guys matching broken noses. Jack Ryder. We're seeing that all access to the island has been restricted. Police and state troopers are manning checkpoints. That's correct. The island is effectively cut off Wait. from the mainland. Something on this. or off. Early reports that Batman himself is on the island appear to be confirmed. Eyewitness reports state that he was returning the Joker to Arkham after the incident at the mayor's office. There are unconfirmed reports that Batman was killed during the Joker's <laughs> daring escape. But I must stress, this is currently unconfirmed. How many times do you think they have to have unconfirmed story that Batman has been murdered? Hey, Michael Dixon, how's it going? I mean, if Batman had been killed, right, wouldn't Superman be in there, like, immediately? And just... Just wrecking the place? <laughs> How did you not see me? But confirmed, it does not it appears you cannot stealth those guys. Not that way, this way. Never mind, I guess we still have to take the long way around. Oh He jumped me! I was expecting him to try something else. Anyway, you get a matching, you get a matching broken nose. This is this is how I tell who, who is in my. Oh wait, can I get up there now? This is how I tell who is in my um, fan club. Who's in the Batman fan club? If they have a Batman shaped um, fist print on, the, on their face. Alright, so this is pointless. How did he even get in here? It doesn't lead anywhere. 
he has to got he must have got in replaced the replaced the grate and then just waited that's commitment To be fair, I used that, that trick earlier. All right. Okay, so we're heading to the gardens. We have these crazy guys are all now. I want to join the fan club! So we have uh, something currently being built. Every time you come back here, there's a little bit more of it built. Okay. The gardens are... The only way to take out a lunatic, you gotta punch him straight in the balls. Okay. Is that it? No, it's five. Five more. Mm. I'm really, really adding numbers to the fan club here. I should do this more often. throw them into the electric thing and it knocks them out. <laughs> I even looked around for him and everything. He still got me. More 
Harvey Dent stuff. This is how he gets ya. This is how he got Harlequin. Okay. Alright, where are we going? Upgrade. Mm, Alright, we can get this Sonic Shock one then while we're here. There. Oh. Here and then this way. Why can't I grapple? Club stamp of approval. Hmm. Wonder. I'm just wondering what the riddle is talking about. I can't see anything. Gardens. Well, I think this is where the stealthier segments start to get a little more interesting, that you can't just hang out on the gargoyle all day. I think this is when they start having, um, when the Joker starts mining the, the gargoyles. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. I can't waste any time in finding the Titan production plant. Pretty grim. So why does... Why does Arkham Asylum have... a botany... wing, or a botanical garden? No idea. Joker's cooking something up there. Yeah, he's here! <laughs> <laughs> they have guns. Climb? I have no real way to get the drop on them either. Exactly the plan. Oh, wait, it was an interview tape. Okay. Patient interview Pamela Lillian Isley, November 12th, 11 33 a.m. 
Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life. When I found my true self. My destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. <laughs> well, he, he did. <laughs> it's turned out you're, you took to the poison pretty well. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Well, sometimes you need to prove back hard in order to make something flourish. Six lads. Ah, just missed him. Maybe he'll come back. No, he's gonna keep going. Alright, maybe he'll get him this one. Three are hanging out together. Where's my explosive? Operators? I need five hours for news can go. I track him right That shocked them. I guess it doesn't. What are you doing? <laughs> I think they would figure out by now not to hang out underneath the gargoyles. Else? Is there like an explosive thing I can hit them with? Not really. It's still waiting. You gotta wait for that to recharge. Try to use one of these Sonics to get them to move. Oh, they're moving away from each other anyway. It's
fucking glided into the goddamn pillar that oh, would have worked. Like to thank my fans for their undying support and the people of Gotham, who I will be seeing very, very soon. <laughs> Together, he's by himself. I'm at the door, nothing here. <laughs> There's already a guy hanging off this one, so I can't go. Quit cheating, Joker. It looks like he left you a gift out there. You heard Joker. Man down, man down. What are you doing? Next. I 
I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey, Dubtrinic, how's it going? Alright, where is he? There he is. He's up in the rapids! He's going up into the rapids! What's up? Just give him a minute, I guess. Okay, where has Harley been? She's been this way. Then. Nope, lost her now. Anyway. Mad Hatter. You are beginning to impress me, Batman. You may still reach a level just below my genius one day. All right, obsessed from a young age with Lewis Carroll's book, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, Jervis Tetch, an expert hypnotist, embraced it. Expert hypnotist, okay, expert charlatan. Embraced the delusion that he was the incarnation of a character in the story, the Mad Hatter. Using his skills for mesmerism, the Mad Hatter has committed many crimes, very non-consensual crimes, often themed around the book that inspired him and his love of hats and headgear, going so far as to implant his hats with mind control chips to amplify his hypnosis skills. Where are you getting this from? Is he also a fucking engineer too? Above all other headwear, however, he covets Batman's distinctive cowl and will stop at nothing to acquire it. Jervis Tetch, professional criminal, based in Gotham City, eyes blue, hair red, 4'11", 115 pounds, 1948. Master hypnotism and mind control, obsessed with hats, especially one-of-a-kind items, delusional schizophrenic with a fixation on Alice in Wonderland. Cool. Okay, I think I have gone... wrong way? Must have climbed up here. through this door. Yes. Hey, what's up, jokes? Stop this now. Before it goes too far. Stop. I mean, but Batman, you could have you could have stopped this at any time. Let just just kill now. him. <laughs> okay, if you say so, that. <laughs> no. It's your fault, Batman. You told him to do it. We really need to speed things up, Bats. At this rate, you'll never catch me! <laughs> I need to shut down power to this room. Fine, I shut down the OK, and then there are three things that we're all going the other direction. OK, fine. If only we had the line gun, this wouldn't be a problem. Follow the cables. They all go the same place, so that's helpful. I could have sworn this would have been a uh, three different directions we need to go in situation. Maintenance staff only. That's me, right? Wayne's, how could anyone forget? Okay, so I guess there's a statue of mother and or father. Is that them? Yep. Thomas Wayne was a gifted surgeon and heir to the Wayne fortune. Dedicated to philanthropy as much as medicine, he and his wife Martha were well known and respected, and respected in Gotham. Why did you say that name? Martha Wayne shared her husband Thomas's charity. You don't need to have an extra apostrophe there. Charitable nature, and was dedicated to her son Bruce's upbringing. She was well regarded in Gotham City social circles and helped host lavish charity balls at Wayne Manor. You know what else would require all this charity and philanthropy? Paying your taxes. Their tragic murder at the hands of a desperate burglar, Joe Chill, in Gotham's Crime Alley, maybe don't call the Crime Alley, this thought, shook the city to its core and led to years of urban blight. It also inspired their son Bruce to eventually become the Batman. Thomas Wayne, Martha Wayne, Dr. Philanthropist, Gotham City, why are they... Anyway, he is blue eyes, black hair, 
She is brown eyes, brown hair. He's six foot one. She's five foot eight. He's one hundred eighty pounds. She's one hundred thirty five pounds. First introduced in nineteen thirty nine. Highly gifted and well trained surgeon, heir to the Wayne family fortune, dedicated philanthropist, mother to Bruce Wayne, wife to Thomas Wayne. Hey, what? They're kind of mixing the two of them in there, but whatever. Could have, they could have split them up, is, is what I'm saying. Patient interview, Pamela Lillian Isley, November 14th, 10, 21 a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. I don't remember. Okay. You'll have to remind me. Well, nobody chose to die. Thousands of poisonous spores in the Gotham killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. She's got a point. One of those fleshy sacks. Not anymore. You were a doctor, too. I'm sure she's still a doctor. Stephen. Oh, Stephen. Here's the third set of teeth. There's always three. I say that, but there have been multiple instances where there weren't three. Yeah, there it is. There's always three. God damn it. Radiation, huh? Oh, okay. Stop, please. I'm not important. I can't help you. You're lucky the boss don't want you hurt too bad. Who do we need to get rid of? about you being a perfect fate? Don't get it. You're nothing special. Who's gonna save you? Yeah. Just in case someone mm. does. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bat! You're dead, Batman! I gotta stop trying to beat them to the punch. Sure what happened to him. But whatever, he went there. No. You good, Carl? Don't hey. ask how I know your name. Are you okay? Everybody else gets I'm like fine. a nice jacket, uh, like a like a name badge and everything. And he just has Arkham janitor. The ones that weren't hitting me Dickheads. went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Okay. Why do all these power controls have like radiation? Symbols on them. This is concerning, Carl. Uh, that's not good. Looks like Joker has booby trapped this control box. This is going to be tougher than before, but it's a risk I'll need to take. Is it? Is it really? Pamela, I got you what you asked for. <laughs> oh, Stephen, you fool. Oh, yes. Stephen, you fool. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. Goodbye, Stephen. People will see me. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. And that was the end of Stephen. Okay, before we go in there, what else is around? Uh, 
need this is why you need the one that has the extended range, because you wouldn't be able to reach this with the default range. It's here somewhere. There it is. Yoink. Is this something? It is not. Is this something? Really not something? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, let's do this thing. Level five. That was tricky. If he couldn't keep moving his head all around the place, I would have been able to do it. That's Looks good. like I've cut the power to the generator ahead. All right, be good. Be good, Carl. I'll stay here. The Joker's men may try to retake the generator. Oh, okay. I don't know how you're going to stop them, Carl. You didn't stop them the first time. Anyone joined us while I've been away? Not like it. Well, aren't you the persistent one? That always one step ahead. Well, it seems like I've been one step up behind this whole time. I saw Scarecrow Tux in there. But no, it was just a weird particle effect in the air. Okay, now the water definitely won't turn back on. Right? That's not a thing the game would do. The rat catcher he's talking about. That way. Oh no, can't go that way. On this way. All right. That one would have been annoying to miss. Once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, Otis Flanagan, why do you have to be Irish, soon started using his natural gifts and affinity with and ability to control rats to stage a variety of crimes. Eventually, his control over the vermin grew until he threatened Gotham City with a veritable army of rodents. Incarcerated many times at Blackgate, he's able to do as much damage within prison as without, using his loyal pets to relay messages and transport materials inside the maze of ventilation ducts that wind throughout the giant prison. Otis Flanagan. Professional criminal, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair brown, 5'11", 155 pounds. Thorough knowledge of Gotham's sewer system and Blackgate Prison's layout, eerie ability to wordlessly communicate with and command all rats. Do you think that count? Like, Batman's like a bat. They're rodents, right? They're in the same family. Do you think he can still do it? Overvalues rodent life, especially in comparison to human life. Over, like, that's subjective. Some humans aren't worth as much as a really smart rat, you know? Okay, and we have that route, and then we have this route. Where does this go? Which 
shrooms. I know something. Okay, is it stealth? Is it a stealth sequence? Or is it not a stealth sequence? It's not a stealth sequence. following Harley Quinn's um, fingerprints anymore. Oops. What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's Joker. Are explosives? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, that's not something. Okay. Where we came in? I can't, I can't tell what way we came in from. No, it's not. Go this way, though. I jump this way. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, that was weird. I got it. Okay, I think that was just a big circle to get around to that. What's up, Jordan? Do I look okay? Yeah, you look fine. They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Okay. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You've got to help them. Stay here. I rescued the orderlies held hostage in the aviary. Is it, 
No, that's an. I was gonna say aviaries for bees. No, it's not. That's an apiary. What's an aviary for? Is it birds? I think it's birds. Dumpty Dumpty as a character? Looks like. Yes, birds. Okay, cool. Uh, an obese bald man. Why obese? Why, like why? He's a man. Just Humpty Dumpty for his egg-like form. Humphrey Dumpler. Oh come on! His parents didn't exactly help, did they? Is obsessed with taking things apart and putting them back together. His crimes at first were minor break-ins, leading to small mechanical items no longer functioning due to Dumpler's inability to adequately reassemble them after taking them apart. But soon his obsession grew to the point that major disasters occurred in Gotham, and Dumpler's crimes also extended to a gruesome attempt to fix his abusive grandmother by dismembering her and then attempting a Frankenstein-like reassembly. Okay, holy shit. At Arkham, he is a model inmate. His quiet nature and imposing physique inuring him to the madness surrounding him. Real, real name, Humphrey Dumpler. I mean, they did not help. It's his real name. Anyway. Professional criminal. Doesn't sound like a professional. Doesn't sound like he was getting paid. Gotham City, eyes brown, no hair, six foot three, three hundred forty-five pounds. That's a big boy. Two thousand three. Extremely tall, heavy, and strong. Possesses an almost unnaturally quiet, deliberate nature. Ritualized childhood abuse has led to a severe case of arrested development and an inability to assimilate into modern society. Obsessed with the processes of disassembly and reassembly. Okay, I kind of feel like he shouldn't be in. Arkham? Like, he should be somewhere where he can get some help, maybe? I mean, ostensibly they're all here to get some help, but I mean, nobody gets any help in Arkham Asylum, come on. Where am I actually going? Because that was a dead end. We can go right or left. Never mind, we can't go that way. <laughs> we don't have the line called, so we're going this way, I guess. Hey, okay. is statue missing its head? Hmm. Constance Arkham would have been killed by Mad Dog. Okay, we're in the aviary. Someone! Get me out of this thing! <laughs> Listen! The bat is on the way! If you see him, send the annoying doctors to hell! That's the down one, right? Yeah! They're going down! That's a considerable scar that guy has around his head, holy shit! The collar go off, that man's here! But it's only if they see me? Wearing the security collars. I'll need to take out the operator first. Ah, okay. This game, I think, came out before we had look to cover Batman tech like stuff. When games had like just look at cover, press the button, and you'll go there. Okay, gotta get up to him. Gar goes around. He's looking right. Will he see me if I come out? Hmm. I think he will. Joker wants some stock. I'm gonna do it. This lead anywhere? Get us somewhere. Okay, let's get up to the tower. That guy, I guess. Is 
this guy? No, it's not him. It's him. Okay. Alright, there's a ladder on the other side that I can take. That man's as good as dead. Not sure how I'm gonna get to him without being seen though. I know, I know, I know, Skip. No. Listen, the map is on the way. If you see him, send the annoying doctors to hell. And that's the down one, right? Yeah, they're going down. Good. And remember, if you hear a collar go off, that man's here. Joker's men are all wearing the security collar. I'll need to take out the operator first. Is there a way over there? There isn't a way over there. Let's try to go this way this time. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. an interview tape but that's not really helpful to us just remember to come back for it Shit, we're back to here. Let's see if I can glide over. Success. 
of the hostages are still in danger. What the? Oh, whoops. Dick, <laughs> why didn't you walk forward? All right, make our way back down, I guess. Seriously. Well, whatever it worked. Oh, it's just uh, <laughs> what? All of the goons are dead, so wheel the guys back in. This? Not dead. Not dead. Batman doesn't kill people. They're not dead. They're just. Joker wanted the entrance to the Titan production plant guarded. I should pick up Harley's trail again so I can find it. Let's check on these guys first. Right then, boys. I'm sorry. I thought I was working for Dr. Young. I had no idea Joker was involved until he burst in the lab. Where is the lab? Back over there. I always get buzzed through. There's a hidden door, but, well, you know, it's hidden. Mm -hmm. I'll find it. Stay here. Where is Dr. He's, ver he's very, very dead. Pretty sure the the plant he gave her ate him. Pretty sure that's what happened. I thought I was gonna pass out. I can't stand heights. Okay, upgrades again. Um, we actually came close to dying in that last fight with Harlequin. So let's get some more health instead. It's not a it's not a fun upgrade, but it's an upgrade we need. I need to go back and get those teeth as well over here. What? <laughs> Could have sworn, does his, maybe his glide kicks in much earlier in like Arkham Knight or Arkham City or something? I could have sworn it kicked in almost immediately when you jumped off. Where are we going? Follow uh, handprints. Oh, there you go. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Tell me anything about Joker toxin.
does Joker know to wire the toxin into the fucking sequencer thing? Where does he where does he have that kind of technology? Or that kind of know how? How you doing? Well, look who's discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what hmm. I've cooked up. Is okay. I don't look okay. Ow, 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 ow. Big boys, huh? They hit each other as well. I forgot about that. I think there's a trophy for getting them to knock each other out. Might be it might be in the other Arkham games. Can't do the grapple on them. Yeah, beat him up. Kick his ass. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, how about I use him against you instead? It's starting to become very Monster Hunter Rise. Come on, do it. Nice. Okay, I don't think the Batarang does anything to these guys, really. Unless they charge you. That's about the only thing that'll do it. Right? Just doing this over and over again? Everyone's having a lot of fun watching this? Nah, he wants to throw somebody at me. Oh, fuck you. Get him, quick. Throw somebody at me. Alright. When you're ready, like. See ya. I get some tremendous heights. Better than doing a machine learning project. That's fair enough, yeah. That is fair enough. Machine learning is annoying. Positive feedback loops. Negative feedback loops. Are you giving them enough worth for their positive feedback? No. Never enough. Well, 
that's the way back out. I don't really want to do. I want to follow the joke face. Which I don't think we can. So... Do we know what this is? Titan vat. Contains titan-based compound. Explosive. Is this a good idea? Or is this a very bad idea? Feeling this is a very bad idea. Well, let's try it. Probably don't stand too close to this one. Oracle. That help? I've destroyed the Titan. Oh, I had to do that. Okay. <laughs> but Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a venom plant hybrid to Maybe create the Titan that. strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. I'm going to need something to get over this ravine. There are. Doom bats. What? What? <laughs> Why didn't you do this earlier? We could leave, we could escape. Thanks, friend. You can you can go now, I guess. The line launcher, the line going is what I've been calling it. Allows rapid movement between two horizontal points. Okay, you need to get out of here, man. You're way too loud. Bye. The thing can fly remarkably well for not being piloted. The line launcher is this one. <laughs> Doing linear regression, I don't need positive or negative. <laughs> That's fair enough. It's hard enough as it is. Whee. Challenge unlocked. Well, we're not doing those ever. Because they suck. The only thing standing in my way of the platinum. But I refuse to do it. Can I get over here without blowing up? I cannot. Hmm. I assume I just aim it at this and the door opens then, I think. Now I can go find Ivy. How do I get there then? I don't know. Find out eventually. Okay. Heading back this way, presumably. Uh, yeah, it's probably this door. Can you defeat a mind such as mine? What? Why are you just randomly talking to me now, Riddler? Busy. Okay, so there was the big, um, just open hole over on this side, so this is where we're going now. Where'd your man go? Hmm, he's gone now. Okay, we appear to be going the right way. Eee. Still not doing them. You can unlock as many challenges as you want. It's not happening. Hey, Poison Ivy. My darlings. I mean you now. My poor darlings. Yes, I know he's found us. 
But I won't let him hurt you. I'll kill him first. I have no interest in the plants, really. I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. In a way. <laughs> I need you to help me create an antidote. Why should I? Let Joker have his fun. I'll enjoy watching you squirm. Really? You've been in the dark too long. Every plant on this island will get the same unless uh, you cooperate. There's a plant growing deep in Arkham Island. Only it can counter the effects of this Titan strain. Where do I find it? Oh, she just told you. Slayer. Oh shit. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? Uh, we do have the line launcher now. That is Go back to your required for Killer Croc. I'll be after you next. And I'll be I need to find a way into Killer Croc's lair. It's somewhere below Arkham Island. There's nothing on the system about where he's kept. I found a door near the Batcave, but it's shut tight. Uh. There's got to be another way in. I left guard Cash in the mansion. I'll see if he can shed some light on where Croc's kept. Yeah, go back and play with your units for a few more hours. The boss isn't ready for you yet. All right, make way, boys. This will hurt. I thought I had a... I thought I had a auto kill up ready. Not kill. <laughs> I keep saying kill. That one doesn't kill people. Definitely not. They're not, definitely all still alive. Alright, how do I get back? Can I go this way? Has this been cleared or do I have to come back through? I assume it hasn't been cleared, right? The big explosion the Joker left here? I presume we can't get through here. Would I be correct? I'm yeah, correct. Didn't think that would get cleared, but you know, gonna check. Check these things. Back. Who's that? Just kill me. So you found it at last. What have you been doing with your time? <laughs> Getting beaten up by people. What have you been doing? Jerking off in your Riddler cave. Skellingtons. Weird. Let's see if we can get into that area. I'm in here. Yes. How 
I get out of here? <laughs> this way. I gotta find a way out first. Does it work? I know there's a there's a question mark you can only see in detective vision, I think, in this area. I don't remember where to stand to see us. Because I don't remember, I'm not gonna try to remember. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. I'll figure it out when we decide to do our 100% wrap up. I think there's a post game for Arkham Asylum. Once you've done everything, you can go back in 100%. I think we'll just do that. Rather than me trying to spend ages trying to figure out everything. Nope, not that way. That's weird. Hey! Screw you, Ben! We turned on the power! You're trapped over there! Yeah! Not so special! What's he doing? <laughs> Trying to beat them to the punch. I keep doing it. Oh wait, shit! Can I throw him in the water? Damn it! No, land in the water. <laughs> Get electrocuted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's not quite in the water. Number four. There he is. Can I get him from here? He seems pretty. Oh, I can. What are you doing? I thought there was like a limit to how far you could go with that, but apparently there isn't. Apparently you can go right from top to bottom on that. Yeah, they're all hanging out down there. I can't do much with them. What are we gonna do? Shut up and keep looking. We'll come back when the baddie's dead. Wait up, I'll watch your back. Right, those two are hanging out together, so we'll go after this guy. Come to it, boys! Drag that bat down with the rest of us crazy! <laughs> right, unless he comes over here, I don't think I'll get him. Try to use our. I'm reasonably sure there's no truth to the rumor Batman drinks too much blood. At least I don't think so. Come on, I'll go check it out. Come over here. <laughs> man down, man down. Ah, fuck, that's gonna interrupt us. <sighs> Sucks. What are you 
going? I need help. Yeah, whatever. You need to still investigate this thing, though. Come on. Come on, come over here and investigate. Damn it. Oh, whatever. I can still catch you on this one. What are you doing? No, last time I did, I bounced off the pillar, so we're gonna wait. What? What's going on? Could glide kick him, but there's a bunch of stuff in the way, so I don't want to accidentally mess it up. Behind you, <laughs> only joking. This isn't good. Anything in here? Oh, that's explodable. No suspect detected. Dead. <laughs> Fucking file driver. Okay. Statues look weird. Oh, I think it's just literally this. Look at these guys. What? You found that one too? Preposterous. Cool, isn't it? Uh oh. That's a problem. Okay. Good. Can I even get out now or what? Uh, okay. What else can we get? Do we need more health? No, I don't think so. I've been putting this off for ages. So whatever. Forget it. Uh, objectives. Can't get out. I guess there's another way out? Presumably? Oh, I can just drop down here. The island oh, this guy. <laughs> little over the years. It's Debbie down here again. reputation was in tatters, but I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. 
A bright, wonderful future. I'm not sure that's how anyone else would see Arkham Asylum, but okay. So we're not going that way. I guess we're going this way. Ah, sneaky. Take that, Ivy. <laughs> it didn't work. On the other hand, we got a lot of plants everywhere now. Titan must be having a different effect on Ivy. Her plants are growing. They'll soon be out of control. <laughs> Don't do it, fan club. Mutating further. No. He had only just joined the fan club. That pod appears to contain similar spores to the ones Ivy used to attack Gotham last year. They're deadly. So what are you saying? Should battering? Shouldn't? Should? Shouldn't. Should? Shouldn't? Let's try. Almost got me. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to leave it here, though, for this evening. And we will pick back up with Killer Croc uh, next time. Maybe next week if it wins the coin toss. Remember, we are doing a coin toss between this and Bayonetta. So, what? Did we get any new character trophies? Well, it doesn't look like it. Extra content. Absolutely not. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, no stream tomorrow. Uh, there'll be Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on Saturday. Uh, Sunday we'll be doing the weekly news recap. Um, remember, we did start a new Foley Fables this week. So if you want to check that out, there is one. Uh, we started the council last night. I think it was a lot of fun. A lot of lot of historical bullshit going on. Thanks, Team Training. You have a good night too. Um, and Monday we started Little Hope with Melwen, so there's a cooperative collaboration thing going on there with her. Um, so do check out her channel as well to see her point of view. Um, next week we will find out what we're playing uh, on the weekly news recap, where we also do a channel update at the end of that um, stream. So we'll figure out what games we're going to be playing in the following week. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, have a good rest of your evening. Hopefully see some of you. Council looks cool. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. Um, but yeah. Anyway, hopefully see some of you for Xenoblade Saturday or week news recap. Either way, have a good one. I need to change all of my clothes because I am so sweaty. <laughs> Caught some of the butt. All right, nice, nice. Thanks for that. Right. Have a good one, everybody. I'm going to head off. Bye-bye.